Uh, you know, at this year's ASH, I think the big thing is we are finally going to say that the standard of care for newly diagnosed patients is going to be four drug regimens. There's going to be two big presentations. One I've already mentioned in the plenary session is the Ischia study, which is combining carfilzomib with lenalidomide, dexamethasone, and isatuximab. And we're going to see the data for that this afternoon, actually. And then finally, we have a late-breaking abstract, and that is the Perseus trial. And what the Perseus trial has done is use daratumumab with lenalidomide, bortezomib, and dexamethasone versus a three-drug regimen. And all of these trials, at least with respect to response and MRD negativity, have shown that uh, the four-drug regimen is better. And at least with the Perseus trial, we'll see there's longer term follow up and there's data in the abstract as well, where we have about 85% of patients remaining progression free at four years. These are unprecedented results. We've never seen these kinds of responses. You know, we at my center, we are fortunate that we live in the United States. We can actually use four drugs, but I think this is going to become the new standard of care. So I'm excited about that. With respect to other things, I think there's a lot of good um, translational data at this year's ASH uh, meeting, wherein we are trying to begin to understand what are the causes of resistance to some of the immunotherapeutic approaches that we have. There are other CAR products which are being presented. What I'm most excited about are two uh, CAR products. One of them is called DDBCMA. We've been very involved in DDBCMA. DDBCMA is a CAR product against targeting uh, BCMA. It is supposed to be less immunogenic and the binding is supposed to be really the way the product was designed is, you know, it was computationally designed, the binding site of that BCMA. Um, MGH has been a leader in trying to develop DDBCMA, and really we've used it for several years. Now we are going to have the updated results of the first in human trial, and I'm excited about the data. So that's going to be presented on Monday. The data looks really good. Um, and when it comes to CAR T cells, I do think we have room for more products because manufacturing, etc., can never happen with one, uh, you know, one drug product. We've already seen amazing data with Siltacel at this year's meeting. There's more data on the science behind resistance around Siltacel and what is the T cell sort of signature in the microenvironment when patients are either responding or not responding, and that was presented in yesterday morning's session. So a lot of good science, a lot of excitement. By specifics, we've always been excited about. We now we are so fortunate that we have three by specifics which are approved: two against BCMA, one against a completely novel target called GPCR5D, talquerimab. And you know, I think over the years we're going to learn to use these better. We have them approved. And once they approve, we'll start looking at different dosing schedules, different combinations. So I'm excited for all of these T-cell-directed therapies as well as four drugs in the upfront setting.